What is going on, buddy? Zach RC here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome along to episode number 13 of the F122 Road to Goat Drive Career Mode Series for the Singapore Grand Prix here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit. If you guys did miss the last episode uploaded yesterday, make sure to go check that one out. There'll be a link to it in the top right hand corner kind of your screen now. And like I can say, hand on heart, ladies and gentlemen, this could be a very exciting Grand Prix indeed. Grip penalties all over the shop. We've been impacted by them a little bit. We're starting down in P17 for the race itself. So it should be a very exciting race with the Drivers' Championship being as close it is Hamilton leads by six points over Leclerc, Verstappen and got signs behind that back them in fourth place, 11 points out. We've got all the makings for the championship to shift massively with some of those contenders starting slightly further back than usual. In terms of us, I can say P17 on the grid, we're we'll gonna go for the usual strategy here. Didn't pay off for us last time in Monza, we're gonna take one more chance at it. Go pit on lap 13, one lap earlier than the rest of the pack, and gone hard until the end and turn down the fuel as usual. Again, I'm still being a bit more leading with the fuel, of course. It worked out for us okay in Monza, but I'm still having flashbacks thinking about Zanvor a couple of races ago. Make sure to go check that one out as well if you hadn't seen that already, because it was an absolute banger of a race. We live on the grid now, getting ready for the start of the race. The two Alfa Romeos and Ocon's Alpine lining up just behind us here to get ready for the start. So let's jump right into this one. We go to five red lights for the Singapore Grand Prix. Round number 13 of the championship. There's four more races left to go. And it's lights up, foot to the floor, go, go, go. Decent getaway compared to those cars on our left, making our way towards turn one. The two Alfa Romeo getting close behind us. We're going to fall away off towards off the start. We get towards turn one. They're going to lay on the brakes around the outside of Ocon in towards that first corner. They're trying to go super risky and go around the outside of all four cars. We're four abreast, and as, as a result, Ricardo hits us here. has no choice but to do so. They go around the outside of all of them, though, and jump into P14 here. So, brilliant start. We've still got shoulder there alongside Ocon. Ricardo makes it three wide, going into turn number three. We're going to right in front of both them. Schumacher and Vettel doing P12 just in front of us a little bit. About six or seven heads behind them to start things off. So not too bad to start off the line with getting a matter of, again, a number of places, sorry. Stroll right there behind us, could turn with a threat, and we've got Vettel there. And Stroll looks the inside, sorry, Hamilton looks the inside from over there. And all very nearly sent a bit wide, but we managed to give him just about enough room for him to try and squeeze in. Didn't quite announce anything for him. But yeah, decent start for us here. So a couple places, let's try and keep on moving up as, as the rest of the team's on here. On to lap number two, we're chasing fast and Vettel. We've caught up to him, our teammate Alex Albon, just in front of us. We didn't get too impacted by the drift car team, but yeah, it benefited him. Good season, more points for Williams on the board. Later on the race, so look at the outside of Vettel going into that left-hander. Bit of contact, he tapped the back of his Aston Martin. We're trying again, goes to the inside for the next right-hander. And there we go, seizing the opportunity, through on the inside and taking the play away from Vettel who pushed closer to points paying places. Signs in 11th place to one place in front of Albon. Of course he's on the major front. He's got he's got a gap close to the championship after, after his retirement. Last amount of season retirement. I dare say we see another one here. Nick Schumacher is slowing in the house and there's a puff of smoke from the back of the car. It's held up Albon massively. He had to go around the outside of the German and that would that be a sure fire sign of Nick Schumacher unfortunately is the first casualty of this Singapore Grand Prix as we make our way still chasing Albon. But unfortunately, Schumacher won't be doing any more chasing today. He's out of the Grand Prix, without a doubt. And one more puff of smoke, see it searing the end of the engine on that house machine. So we're still chasing Albon, though, onto lap number six of this Grand Prix. We're chasing down the DRS straight here. First proper advantage with the drag reduction system. The rear is wide open to charge towards that next left hander. Great opportunity to try and go for a move. They look at the inside, and Albon locks up a little bit of this contact, and he almost goes straight on there. Very unfortunate, we don't want to try and be making contact with our teammate. As a result, we do get a warning for that. And also a bad one on the radio from Mark. So, unfortunately, we have to keep on moving here. So, we'll try and chase down Carlos Sainz. This could be difficult. Sergio Perez came to pits as we, as we reach into lap number 12 now. Okay, we're get, we're getting towards to our pit window, so jump quite a bit fast, further forward. Okay, a bit wide there through turn number four. And Vettel might turn opportunities to go for us on the inside to head towards turn number six. We'll go to the title king for right hander that is turn five. Vettel gets in front of us. Let's try and look to the inside once again. The run is inside. You've got no choice but to almost move back up in front of us. And he does so on the exit. So a good move from someone to stay in front after gaining that position. As we come towards the right number 13 now, we're unable to get back around him. It's time to make our first pit stop of this Grand Prix. It's been quite a hectic um, first stint, but things calmed down an awful lot as time went by. Actually, we pit lane was a bit early there, so we may have lost some time from into pit lane. So we'll have to wait and see if the crew can do a good job and get us back out on that racetrack as quickly as we can. Get the turn in just right as we always seem to do. Get that optimal turn in as expected, and good job from us there. Hopefully the team do a good job as well. Here comes the Alfa Romeo's might just hold us up a little bit here. And there is Guan Yu Zhou making his way into pit lane. Another 2.4 second stop. As Pure and Rowe have done that exact same pit stop time. We've been held up a little bit by Zhou there. So that may have had something to do with it in terms of just contributing factors. But on the exit complete. down in P17 now onto a fresh set of hard tyres as we go to the end of the race on. 
but I, I don't feel like the hard tyres will be as good on this circuit as they have been on previous circuits, such as Zanvot and Monza, where speed in a straight line matched a little bit more. So Bottas is right there behind us. Joe's already dropped back, but Bottas is on the soft tyres here. He might try and go for something inside, and he will. We've left him all the room in the world there, unfortunately. It's a terrible mistake from us. Bottas is still down there inside. He's got a foot on us to make our way down towards the corner. He's got the DRS as well, so he's got a huge advantage. He's squeezing towards the wall a little bit. Then giving the space going into the left hander. He's on our outside and almost gets in front of us there. We've managed to keep just, there, just within a car length and move back in front of the exit. So we're going to hold on to P17 here by a dare say that Bottas will be breathing down our neck for the rest of this stint and potentially the rest of the races. To make our way into the left hander, we've clipped the inside wall and that could be hugely critical for us. Bottas goes, goes charging by there on the right hand side and Joe might try and get us as well if he gets close enough, but that is an error that may cost us a decent chunk of time when everyone else will be around. Going to get a dive to the inside of Bottas there, going into the corner. We just get the job done. Joe makes contact with his teammate there, and I can relate to that having made contact with Alex earlier on in the race. Not something you want to be doing as Alex comes into the pit lane for his stop. We push further on towards the end of the lap now. We'll see where those guys come out, and thanks to that unfortunate near spin we had. Those guys coming out just in front of us by a couple seconds here. Albon already out of the pit lane, and Stroll not out of the pit lane. Albon's on the exit. There he is at turn number three as he makes his way. We make our way through the left hand, sorry. And Bottas still chases his cross up number 16. Esteban Ocon making his way out the pit lane there in the Alpine because he started behind us, but he's still around us here because we've really lost out in the pit stop phase. And Ocon might be our next target is go on the attack and try and take away P15 if we can. It's looking more and more obvious that we know points on the board in today's race for us. The best we can do is just try and make as many places as we can, try and close up that time to Albon, see if we can beat him. It's looking unlikely from where we are now. We look at the inside of Ocon though, and I'll be the outside for the next corner as we make our way towards the braking okay, zone. The about side ahead. by side between us, neck and neck into the corner. Ocon almost, almost thought he was going to run us wide for a moment, but didn't quite do that. Gave us the room, nice and sportsmanlike, and we managed to take the place away from him. So P15 for us now, four seconds behind Alex. Back up front, it's George Russell who's leading the way in this Grand Prix. So he's making make a surprise stop under the green flag condition. A second stop of the Grand Prix for him as he makes the way into the pit lane. That's going to allow Lando Norris and the McLaren to take the lead. And Norris hugely gained, had an advantage in qualifying thanks to those other grip penalties. And now he's a chance to win this race, but he's got the world champion Max Verstappen breathing down his neck. So we'll check back with him at the end of the race, see how he's getting on there. In terms of our situation though, Albon's really gone away from us here. These hard tyres definitely not as strong as those medium tyres were. And that first didn't even they weren't too strong to begin with. We've got open the door for Ocon to have a go us around the outside, but we're not going to let him have it. We've gone on the inside, our better run to the corner and stay in front of him for the time being. It's very tight, and I dare say he might get it eventually. And there he goes back to the inside looking for it again. Let's try and outbreak him going into the corner. He's got a foot on us here. He's going to tell me we've got to outbreak ourselves massively there. We've gone way wide, but Ocon stays behind us, holds his line, He's gone over the curb, but they're very nearly tapped the wall, and that could have been raced over for us right there. So very dangerous hit, hit wall once again and going way too deep. Then we've clipped it. There we go. And there is a wall hit at last. And Ocon seizes the opportunity and goes siding through to reclaim 15th place. And we've got a warning for a collision with him, which only adds to our problems. And there's the one where we might get a penalty of some kind. Come very close to him going into the right hander, but he gets away from us here. And pushing on to that 29, we're reaching the end of the race now. Ocon about 13 seconds clear. So this, this second stint has been horrible for us. It's been a massive down downhill decline. He still looks the inside towards 10 number 1. There's just two more laps to go in this Grand Prix. Let's do our best to try and keep the position. There'll be no points on the offer for it, but we'll have to try and keep this first. Pride's sake and get as high a finish as we can and move on to the next Grand Prix. Joe and Stroll going toe to toe behind us on the exit of the corner. We managed to keep in front of both of them for the time being as we make our way towards turn at number four here and looking potentially at having to defend from a Joe or a Stroll attack. Joe's the one in front. He's going to have a go at us here, making their way down towards that next left hander. We all both to the left hand side of the track, giving Joe the opportunity on the outside to try and squeeze past. We're going to force him the long way around. Very tight there. We've managed to stay in front of him, forcing him. Staying on, the, he stays on the track, but unfortunately has to concede the place. So we win that battle once again. And moving on now to the final lap of this race, Joe still lacking, looking at us here as we come around to start that 31st and last lap of the Singapore Grand Prix. It's been an unfortunate okay, one. They try and take, lap, try and hold on to the position the as best we can. Joe looks the inside at turn number one. Let's try and force him, try and squeeze him just a little bit in order to keep him in front. And we will do just that, staying ahead here just for the time being. I don't know if we'll go for one last attack down the next DRS straight. So there's two of them still left to come. And Lando Norris then, he did say we'd come back to him. He's making his way through the last couple of corners now. Russell was unable to recover from that, that second stop. And Norris will run to the line now to win for the first time in Formula 1. Norris and McLaren win under the lights in Singapore. And we have Verstappen and Leclerc come in second and third. The championship lead and the championship fight will most certainly swing their way after this one. But what a result for Norris and for that McLaren team. We get two wins in two years. Adding on to their win with Ricardo in 2021. We've clipped the wall there, the same one we clipped earlier on. And Joe's right there behind us, might try and go for one last attack here. This could be very tight. We could lose out on P16 right here and now as he looks to the inside going into the corner. He's got a clear shot at us up the inside, but we, we can't switch back because we're still 
there alongside him. He's going to make our way through the last sector of this Grand Prix now. Got to try and hold him as best we can. He's got in front, so he's going to push him here through the corner. And we almost lost it. We almost lost the car completely. We're going to go a bit more rebellious here, looking to the inside and going in towards that tunnel section. But of course, the last time through that tunnel section, of course, we're getting rid of that in F123. And Joe there looking, it's still there on the R inside, but we get around the outside. Best traction on the exit. And that'll be all we need to take P16 after a titanic battle here on this final lap. And of course, a very disappointing result considering the point scoring finishes as of late. But regardless, I'll just regroup and move on to the next Grand Prix. Fun race, Norris wins it, we come home in P16. Brilliant stuff from McLaren today. What a superb victory. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we could talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those that we've witnessed today. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. So there you have it then. Lando Norris is your winner here under the lights in Singapore. Verstappen second and Leclerc home in third. The McLaren team jubilant with their performance today. In terms of our result, it wasn't brilliant, but the two championship contenders there on the podium with our, Brit with our British race winner will definitely be looking at that championship lead. Leclerc takes it for the time being. We'll have a better look at the championship in just a moment, but it could get very tight in these next few races. Charles Leclerc's points today take him to the top of the championship standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Have a look now at your top 10 at the end of this Singapore Grand Prix. So Norris wins it with Verstappen second, Leclerc in third. Sainz comes home to finish fourth. Russ, after that second stop, finishes in fifth place. It's Alonso, Magnussen, Gasly, Perez, and Snowden who round at your top 10. No points for the Williams team today. No points for Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship. And we finish in P16 in a race that could be crucial towards that Constructors' fight. Magnussen's six points may have done him a massive favour here, Haas, in the Constructors' Championship. We'll have a look at those in just a moment. But first, let's have a look at the Drivers' Championship, which I assume has closed up, no doubt, tenfold after that Grand Prix. Look at the standings here. Ten points separating them. Leclerc leads Verstappen by just one point. Sainz and Hamilton now falling by the wayside. Nine and ten points back. Russell still 41 behind as it stands. Perez there in sixth place. And we move down to P13 in the Drivers' Championship after Magnussen and Gasly. Both score points today. And we've fallen down to ninth in the Constructors. Haas scoring huge points to put them in P7. A battle of P6 now between four teams. And potentially even Aston Martin if they get a good race. So it's all still to play for here with three rounds to go. And we'll have to see if we can put it off here. But guys, in terms of the Singapore Grand Prix, that is the end of this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, Make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. We're still closing in on 1,000 subscribers. It wasn't the best race today. We'll regroup and come back. So until that next Grand Prix and until that next video, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Have a good day, guys.